Hello everyone. We are amid of the year and the month of June heralds good beginnings. The new moon of Gemini taught us that it's only with the hearts that one can feel and see correctly. When Mercury turns direct on June 3rd, we shall learn that everything has its marvels, even the darkness and silence. June 4th, Saturn turns retrograde, urging us to slow down, recoup our energies by um, relaxing and reviewing the situations, in fact the marvels of the universe. The Saturn slows down, turns retrograde as if to monitor the Mercury. The Mercury which is going direct and it requires monitoring. The full moon of Sagittarius on the 15-16th urges us to ignite our intellectual energies and explore life. The Neptune retrograde in Pisces and new moon of 28th, 29th June in Cancer wants us to connect with our feelings and give vent to our emotions so that we are not only honest to ourselves but also project the same. The month of June 2022 for you Aquarians, well if you are interested in expanding your knowledge then now is the perfect time for you to enroll in whatever course fascinates you or increases your business acumen. New cars and communication equipment attract you, so this is a good time to buy these things. Health is much improved over last month and improves even further as the month progresses. The month ahead is a happy one. On May 21st, you began one of your yearly personal pleasure peaks. This will go until the 21st of this month. So it's time to enjoy life. Even if life seems drab for some of you, find things that you can enjoy. Lift your spirits and many a problem will melt and dissolve on their own. Enjoying life will also help your love life. The romantic people in your life are looking for fun, lightheartedness. You've been too serious of late. Love should be happy. But like last month, these are not the aspects for marriage. They're more like love affairs. Mental compatibility with the loved one is very important. Good communication, the exchange of ideas is a form of foreplay. Love attitudes change once again after the 21st as the sun moves on to your sixth house. Emotional intimacy can be just as important as physical intimacy now. Perhaps it is a prelude to your physical intimacy. Take care as you could be attracted to the therapist, the health professionals or people involved in your health. Co-workers also seem alluring. Job seekers have good fortune after the 21st. Give way to the social aspects of the job along with wages, hours and benefits. Health remains good this month, yet remain focused and keep up your healthy regime. Hopefully this is more about prevention and healthy lifestyles. Be careful not to magnify little things into bigger things. Finances remain healthy, you do not have to worry on that score. It will do you a world of good if you can refresh your natal charts and be prepared for the rest of the year. Mental en energies can be realigned for a smooth ride ahead. As for your lucky dates, dates for your career, money or honey, you will have to visit my website www.tollymangat.com. Stay blessed.